Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show that covers all things marketing. The GSMC Marketing News Podcast gives you the latest marketing news, from what major businesses have planned for the coming year, to the newest trends in advertising, from podcasts, digital and streaming, to the old standbys of radio, television, and billboards. Whether you're a marketing agent or a business trying to expand your brand, you've come to the right place. The GSMC Marketing News Podcast starts now. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the GSMC Marketing Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I'm your host, Mackenzie Chiquish, and on today's episode, we are going to be talking about how you can actually utilize what is happening right now in our current climate towards your marketing. We are going to talk about five different strategies that you should be trying out right now that might help benefit you during the COVID-19 pandemic. There are obviously a lot of companies that are taking quite a hard hit right now, both big and small, and these strategies as well as these marketing examples will help you understand how you can survive and thrive in the current climate, even though things are seeming a little bit harder these days, there definitely are still some ways to get around it if you are not able to rely on your traditional marketing techniques. So we are going to be talking about all that and more on today's episode of the GSMC Marketing Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. Before we get started, though, I would love to encourage everyone to please, pretty, pretty, please subscribe to the podcast, rate and review it down below. It helps me out more than you could possibly know because then I can get your feedback and your ideas and answer questions with you guys all about the podcast. So it's a really great way for us to actually have a conversation rather than you guys just listen to me talk for 30 minutes and then go about your merry way. I want to hear from you. I want to hear if you have questions or comments or concerns. So please write it in the review down below. Or even better, you can reach out through social media. We are very active on Twitter and on Instagram and on Facebook. So if you have any comments that you want to take over there, if you have something you want to show me, if you want us to follow your business, if you want us to take a look at your business's marketing, then that is definitely the best way to get in contact with me because I'm always on our social media. I love tweeting from the GSMC Twitter account. So please head on over there and take a look and write a review, comment, tweet us, do whatever you want to do because we really just want to hear from you. So before we get into tonight's episode, let's talk about what is new in the marketing world. Our first news story is that Coca-Cola is hitting pause on their marketing spend over lack of return of investment. CEO James Quincy told investors that on April 21st, following the release of their first quarter results, the soft drink giant has seen a significant and profound impact due to the COVID-19 pandemic resulting in a halt of the majority of their marketing. Quincy said, Many markets are taking a pause as we focus on communities and other priorities. He continued to say, We have determined that in this initial phase, there is limited effectiveness in broad-based brand marketing. With this in mind, we have reduced our direct consumer communication, paused sizable marketing campaigns through the early stages of crisis, and will re-engage when the timing is right. So all of this is very, very interesting, especially just when we think about the fact that Coca-Cola is obviously one of the biggest companies in the entire world as well. They are one of the biggest companies who are known for their marketing campaigns. They are one of the only companies who has had one of the world's most famous marketing campaigns ever, which was the Share a Coke ad from the Super Bowl a few years ago and more than a few years ago. But it's really interesting to see, and especially it's interesting to take note of how they are handling the current climate and how they are handling the situation. Because if any company has really been through everything and has really stood the test of time, it is companies like Coca-Cola and Disney and all these really huge marketing giants. So I think it's really important and very valuable to pay attention to how they are handling the situation, to notice things like them putting a pause on their marketing spend, 
and to really just understand where they are coming from, why they are doing this, and how it could actually help you in the long run, and how it helps their customers in the long run as well. Because at the end of the day, that is what Coca-Cola is thinking about, is how can they help their customers? How can they engage with their community? And how can they support their community? And this is a really great response to what is happening right now, to say that they are taking a step back. They understand that just throwing money at the situation is not going to help, so they are taking a step back to reevaluate things and to really try to support their communities on the ground level rather than having these huge multi-million dollar marketing campaigns running during the coronavirus. So let me know what you think of this story in the review down below or reach out through social media. Obviously, there are a lot of different sides to the story, so I do not expect that everyone will share the same opinion as I have, nor do I think everyone will be totally against me. So I would really love to hear your thoughts, your questions, and your concerns about the story. So please feel free to reach out through social media or write it in the review down below. Our second news story is also about one of the biggest companies in the entire world and the coronavirus. Disney will stop paying 100,000 employees this month. So Disney will this week stop paying 100,000 employees, almost half of its global workforce, as it seeks to weather the economic storm created by the coronavirus pandemic. The move by the world's largest entertainment conglomerate will save as much as $500 million in salary costs. While staff placed on unpaid leave will will receive full health care benefits, those based in the U.S. have been encouraged to apply for government benefits. Last year, Disney almost made $7 billion from its parks, experiencing an associated products and business, accounting for nearly half of its operating profits. Earlier this month, Disney said that it would, it would furlough tens of thousands of workers, pointing to the widespread shutdowns across the world. Saying in a statement, the COVID-19 pandemic is having a devastating impact on our world with untold suffering and loss and has required all of us to make sacrifices. Over the last few weeks, mandatory decrees from the government officials have shut down a majority of our business. So again, I think another really great example and an example to also pay attention to similar to the Coke story is how are they handling a huge loss in profits? How are they trying to still help their employees? And how are they trying to take care of their community? Because obviously Disney is known for being the happiest place on earth. When you talk to the employees that work there, they talk about how it is the happiest place on earth to work. And obviously that has been only in my experience that I have heard that, but I have never actually heard anyone say that it is a terrible place to work. Um, So it is very interesting to see how they are handling the situation because, of course, they can't keep people on staff who, if the parks are closed... But it is really great to hear that they are still receiving their full health care benefits. And hopefully this will all end and everyone will get their jobs back, of course. That's what we all want. That is what Disney wants. And that is the way to look at this. So another very interesting story, again, having to do do with the COVID-19 pandemic. And I would really love to hear what your guys' thoughts are on what Disney is choosing to do how they are choosing to handle the situation because it is such a delicate situation. It is not just their marketing. It is not just their brand. It is people's income. It is people's livelihood, but it does affect their brand and it does affect their company. So it definitely is a line that they have to walk. And it is very interesting to see how the world's biggest entertainment company is walking that line. So let me know what your thoughts are in the review down below or reach out through social media. Our third news story of today is that Netflix has acquired the rights to Enola Holmes, which will be starring Millie Bobby Brown. So Millie Bobby Brown's newest film is coming to Netflix. The streaming site has acquired the global rights, excluding China, to legendary entertainment's Alona Holmes, in which Brown will play the sister of the famous Sherlock Holmes. 
This movie will be based on Nancy Springer's book series, The Enola Holmes Mystery, and film and directed by Harry Bradbeer, the Emmy winning director of Fleabag Season 2. So, the reason I am bringing this up on a marketing podcast, I feel like I always make a joke. I need to make a shirt that says, like, I'm not the entertainment podcast. I just like to talk about entertainment. Is because it is so connected to Netflix's marketing. Obviously, this is a huge get for Netflix. Millie Bobby Brown is a very big actress right now. She is known from her Netflix series, Stranger Things. But this movie is already, people are pumped about it. People are jazzed. So it does look very good on Netflix that they are still getting really big titles like this. They are still working with very big actors. And this very easily could have been a Hulu show. This very easily could have been a Disney Plus movie. So it is very interesting and very awesome for Netflix that they are still getting these big titles. And they are still able to have that pull. And will hopefully keep them going during the next year of Disney+. Plus, So, very exciting for Netflix. Well done. Okay, everyone, we are going to go ahead and take a short break from the podcast. But when we come back, I have five marketing strategies for you that will help you deal with the coronavirus pandemic and how you can help keep your company afloat during these trying times. So, stay tuned for that because you are listening to the GSMC Marketing Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I'm your host, Mackenzie Jaquish, and I'll be right back. Golden State Media Concepts Technology Podcast covers everything tech. The hottest mobile phones, tablets, games. We review it, rate it, test it. Whether you're Microsoft or Apple, Android or iPhone, we'll give it to you black and white. The Golden State Media Concepts Technology Podcast. everyone and welcome back to the GSMC Marketing Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I'm your host Mackenzie Jaquish and on tonight's episode we are giving you five different marketing strategies that you can utilize in your marketing right now. So obviously COVID-19 is happening and it is affecting everyone and it is not something we can avoid and obviously it is affecting people in a lot of different ways and on very different scales. Perhaps you are just someone whose anxiety is being affected by this and you feel unsafe and you feel just awful and it's just hurting you in a mental health way. But also maybe you are someone who is sick or you know someone who is sick and that is hurting you. But then there's also this third way of if you are a business owner If you are a small business owner, even the big companies, like we heard in our stories, you might be struggling right now because a big part of your company was being able to interact with your customers. Perhaps it was them coming into your store. Perhaps it was going to farmer's markets. Perhaps it was live events. Perhaps it was networking groups that you went to every week and you sold marketing stuff there. So It definitely is hitting everyone, and I don't want to pretend that it's not. So I wanted to do another episode. This is our third or fourth coronavirus-inspired episode. But this one is really targeted to five different strategies, and then we have five different examples of how to use those strategies of how you can survive the current situation, but how your marketing can thrive in the current climate And how, at the end of the day, you can actually help your customers. Because that really is our goal. It's your goal. It's everyone's goal. We want to help our customers. We want to build a community that will support us. So we will support it. And to do that, you need to stay active. And you need to stay current and supportive. And be there for your customers right now during this 
very, very hard time. We have never experienced anything like this, and it can be very hard to know what the right move is to make. And when we go through the examples, I have some very big companies we are going to talk about, like Cottonelle and McDonald's and all these really, really big companies of how they are dealing with it. And the truth is, is that nobody knows what is going to work or what is not going to work or something that works today might not work tomorrow. But what I have done is I have come up with five strategies that if you follow them, if you keep them in mind, if you work them into your marketing plan, you will be able to at least navigate through this hard time. And obviously I can't promise you the moon and the stars, but I can promise you this as a map. And I think a map might just be the most useful thing we have right now. So I definitely know that for my company, I am using these five strategies to help with my personal marketing. And I would love to hear if you guys are using these as well. So get your pen and paper out because it is time to start taking some notes on these top five marketing strategies during the COVID-19 pandemic. So number one, address your customers' concerns. So if you are, guys, I love this example. I hope it puts a smile on your face. But say you sold soap and your customers were very concerned that your soap was made in a place that maybe someone was infected or they're concerned about, is your soap really going to help keep the virus away from them? Or is it antibacterial soap? Is it just fancy soap? How can it help them? And so you need to address their concerns. You cannot just pretend that they're not there, that people still trust you and that people still rely on you. Because the truth is, is that it's very hard to trust companies right now when you don't know what they're doing to earn your trust. So address your customers' concerns. If they are concerned about your soap not being antibacterial, then write something that says it is. Write something that says it's not. Either way, you need to address your customers' concerns. If they are concerned about how they're going to pick up their product, if they are concerned that maybe you're going to run out of a product and not be able to make more because of the current situation, you need to address all of those concerns. So one thing I suggest you do, and this might work, this might not work for you, it depends on how big your audience is and how big your community is, take a minute And write down all of the concerns you can find on social media, in your email, call a couple of your key clients, and write them all out on a list. And then personally write a statement for each of those concerns, even if there's 10, even if there's 5, even if there's 20. That was a weird way to list like that, but you know what I mean. Doesn't matter how many they are, take the time to write them out, and then really personally Take a moment to think about how you're addressing that concern and how you're dealing with the situation. Number two, steer into the skid or pivot your marketing to steer into the skid is a better way to say that. Basically, again, it's here. It's happening. Everyone is dealing with it. We can't pretend that we are not. So the easiest thing to do is to ignore it and to fight hard against it, that we're fine. We're going to survive. Everything's fine with our products. Nothing's wrong. But the truth is, is that just like if you hit some ice, you need to steer into that skid. You need to tell people how you're struggling. You need to tell people the problems that are currently coming up with your product, the problems that are happening with your marketing, the problems you are having as a small business owner, the problems you're having as a large business owner, because then you're going to be better able to deal with the situations if you're honest about it and if you are clear about it. So steer into that skid and take control over the situation. Number three, bring people together as they are safely apart. So a lot of companies have been doing this, and every time I think about it, it really does just put a smile on my face. There are so many different companies that you don't think of as being something that would bring people together, or you don't think of them as a community builder, but they have found a way to put themselves into a community, and that is what I encourage everyone to do. Right now, we all feel so alone. And it is impossible not to feel alone right now. We are all trapped in self-isolation. You might even be living with someone. You might be living with a lot of people. But the truth is, is that you are trapped in self-isolation, and that sucks. You feel like the outside world doesn't even exist anymore. So the brands that are bringing people together, even though we are safely apart, are doing a huge service to all of us. But they are also helping themselves and their marketing. So say you sell coffee then maybe 
do a marketing campaign where you ask people to have coffee with you and it's a live stream. Do a coffee campaign where people can send bags of coffees to their neighbors, to their mothers for Mother's Day. Really anything that will bring the community together. You can get very, very creative with this. Just look for that warm feeling in your heart and go towards that. Number four, stay positive. Even though you're being honest with your customers' concerns, even though you're staring into that skid, and even though you are so aware that people are not together right now and that people are struggling with that, you need to stay positive and your marketing needs to stay positive and you as a business owner need to stay positive. Things will get better. Again, if you sell coffee, then say you will have coffee with your neighbors again. You will go out to a coffee shop again. It's not over. This is going to end. If you stay positive in your marketing, then your customers will feel positive about your product and your company and how you are handling this situation. Because although we've never dealt with it before, we have dealt with other situations in the past and we will deal with more in the future. So this is a really great time that if you stay positive, if you are the positive light in your customer's day, then they are going to remember that the next time they need that light. Number five, stay aware. There is really only one thing that you can do wrong in this situation, and that's not be aware of the current climate and what everyone else is doing to help deal with it. You cannot be the only company that is still like trying to get people to go inside your business, or you can't be the same company that are making people go in if they are not essential employees. So stay aware of the situation. Stay, stay aware of what everyone is doing in the current situation, and honestly, be thankful of what you have and be thankful that you have the ability to stay aware. Okay, everyone, we are going to go ahead and take a short break from the podcast. But when we come back, I have five different companies that have been using our marketing strategies during the COVID-19 pandemic. So stay tuned for that because you are listening to the GSMC Marketing Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I'm your host, Mackenzie Jaquish, and I'll be right back. Tired of searching the vast jungle of podcasts? Now listen close and hear this out. There's a podcast network that covers just about everything that you've been searching. The Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network is here. Nothing less than a podcast bliss with endless hours of podcast coverage. From news, sports, music, fashion, cooking, entertainment, fantasy, football, and so much more. So stop lurking around and go straight out to the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network. Guaranteed to fill that podcast itch. Whatever it may be, visit us at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and download us on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Google Play. everyone and welcome back to the GSMC Marketing Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I'm your host Mackenzie Jaquish and on today's episode we have been talking about marketing strategies that will help you through the COVID-19 pandemic and will help your marketing thrive during the COVID-19 pandemic and like I talked about before the break I can't give you the answers. I don't have a cheat sheet of what is going to make everything better or what is going to help you in your specific situation. All I can do is tell you these five strategies, tell you how these large companies have been using those strategies, and then kind of hope that that provides you with a map to the current climate. Because honestly, even having a map right now is a huge privilege because we are walking around blindfolded. We are Sandra Bullock in the bird box. We do not know what is happening. So 
again, just to remind you, number four was to stay positive. And I think that is the most important strategy I can give because without us being positive, without us being that light for our customers, without our marketing being that light for our customers, we aren't going to get through this. It's going to be so much harder to get through this at least. So stay positive, but also the other ones, number one, address your customers' concerns. Number two, steer into the skid. Number three, bring people together as they are safely apart. Number four, stay positive. And number five, stay aware. If you do those things, even if you just keep those things in mind while you are doing your marketing for the COVID-19, you will find yourself at least surviving, if not thriving, the current climate. If any of you have different ideas for strategies or you're doing something else that you have found has been really, really useful, I would love it if we could start a conversation down in the review down below. That way other business owners could read them or you could get information from other people. Let's really start a community here, guys, where we can help each other out, we can support each other's companies, and grow together. I would really, really love that. If you are looking for something to do during the COVID-19 pandemic and you really love podcasts, then have you checked out the GSMC Podcast Network? This is one of their podcasts, obviously, but they have so much amazing and incredible content for you to listen to if you're looking for sports, wrestling, entertainment, TV show, lifestyle, cooking, makeup, just everything you could imagine. We have a podcast for that. And it really is cool to go and listen to some of them. You will find your favorites. You will find some you love. You'll find some you don't love as much. But I do promise you we have some amazing content for you to listen to. So I highly recommend popping over there and taking a listen to some of our other podcasts. Of course, I know I will always be your favorite because you're already listening to me. But I do think we have some amazing shows. I really love listening to them. Lately, I've been listening to the GSMC Technology Podcast. Ben has just been doing a really great job, and I really love it. So definitely go check it out, and then tweet me and tell me which podcast is your new favorite. I would love to hear what you're listening to. Okay, let's get right into the next segment, which is we are going to be talking about some famous companies, some very big brands that have been using those strategies in their marketing marketing during the COVID-19 pandemic. So the first one is Cottonelle, which I'm sure just put a smile on everyone's face. Yeah, it's hilarious that Cottonelle is one of these brands because toilet paper has obviously been a very hot topic during the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm not going to lie. It has been on everybody's mind. It's on every social media post. People are selling it like crazy. Stores you wouldn't even think about who sell it are selling it. So definitely very big and very big that a company like Cottonelle is trying to take a hold of that crazy situation. So given the rate at which stores have been selling out of toilet paper, one of the world's largest producers, Cottonelle, delivered a direct message to ease customers' concerns and discourage panic buying. Instead, the brand urged people to stock up generously, and they launched a campaign called Hashtag Share a Square in partnership with the U.S.-based charity United Way. The brand pledged 1 million and 1 million rolls of toilet paper to the United Way Worldwide's COVID-19 Community Response and Recovery Fund. And for everyone who uses the hashtag, share a square, the brand will donate an additional $1 to up to $100,000 to the United Way Worldwide COVID Community Response and Recovery Fund. That is simply amazing. And it is a great example of how they are staying positive how they are being aware, and how they are trying to bring people together while staying safely apart while they are also steering into the skid and addressing the customer's concerns. So they're literally using all five strategies here. It is a great marketing technique because it is showing people who they are as a company outside of the pandemic, but also who they are as a company inside of the pandemic, which can be a very difficult thing. But the truth is, is that who you are outside of the pandemic should be who you are inside of the disease as well. 
And that is what Cottonell is proving. They're saying, we're always going to be here for you, but here's how we can really be here for you now. Our next company is Ford. So as a brand that has been around for a very long time, Ford has definitely been through their fair share of ups and downs. But to acknowledge the gravity of the current situation, the company has pivoted their ads to explain how they have met global scale crisis in the past. For example, by building a military equipment during World War II. And to convey their commitment to fighting COVID-19, they have manufactured medical equipment in short supply. The new ads built to lend a hand and built for right now lean to the company's century-long commitment to their consumers and their mission. So this is a really great example of how they are steering into the skid, how they are also being aware and staying positive, but also, again, bringing people together. They really are trying to tell everyone, guys, we've been through everything. We're Ford. We've been here. And here's how we dealt with it in the past but here is how we are dealing with it in the future. So that is a terrific marketing campaign, a terrific marketing idea, and overall just a really, really great campaign done by Ford. Number three, Walgreens, another very talked about company during the coronavirus pandemic, especially for a lot of people who live in like downtown cities. I live in Seattle And it's very hard to get to like a big grocery store like Costco or any of those really big outlets where I could stock up. Walgreens and CVSs and Rite Aids really have been a huge blessing to a lot of people. So what they did was, although they are also one of the largest U.S. pharmacies and trusted leader in healthcare, Walgreens adopted the Ask a Pharmacist series into a short, informative videos that answered customers' questions related to the coronavirus. The brand also quickly converted an existing email campaign created into a video ad to explain how people can safely take advantage of online care services and free prescription delivery. Finally, to help combat the actual situation and the challenge to many communities faced with limited access to COVID-19 tests, Walgreens instituted the drive-through testing for first responders. This was so freaking amazing when I heard about it. I just was, I was over the moon. I think it's a fantastic campaign for a lot of reasons, but obviously because it really is helping their customers and it really is helping everyone. They are staying positive. They are pivoting their marketing schemes. They are reusing content, which is something I have suggested all of you to do in the past to try to really save on your resources during this time. So I think overall, really great ad done by Walgreens, and I was very, very impressed. Number four, Ikea. Guys, every time I see the Ikea commercial, I shed a tear. It is so emotionally impactful, and it talks about how even though we're apart, we're together. They really, really use strategy number three hard. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. It is just simply incredible. It shows how IKEA is in everyone's homes and how they are proud to be in everyone's homes and how we will be back together again. It is beautiful and just emotionally wonderful. I just, yeah, I really love it. I think it's a fantastic commercial. Definitely my favorite example of how they're staying positive, they're staying aware, and they're trying to bring people together. Number five, Guinness. So although St. Patrick's Day might be where Guinness makes most of its money, the brand recognized that the day would need to be different this year because of the current climate and a lot of the bars being closed because of that climate. So, because social gatherings in Ireland and worldwide were all closed, Guinness knew adults around the world would need a lift. So, they responded with a message of resilience and assurance. By piecing together existing footage in a matter of days, Guinness shared that their own brand had endured the test of time by sticking together. The video really was fantastic very similar to the ikea one it makes me emotional to think about but it was such a fantastic video because it really showed who the company was who they have always been and how they can be a source of comfort during this trying time 
What example was your favorite and what strategy do you plan to use? Let me know in the review down below or reach out through social media. Thank you so much for listening to the GSMC Marketing Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I'm your host, Mackenzie J. Quish, and I'll see you next time. You've been listening to the GSMC Marketing News Podcast, part of the GSMC Podcast Network. You can find this show and others like it at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Download our podcasts on SoundCloud, Stitcher, and Google Play. Just type in GSMC to any podcast app and you'll find all of the shows from the GSMC Podcast Network. From movies to music, from sports to entertainment, from business news to weird news, you'll find it all on the GSMC Podcast Network. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you and we hope you have enjoyed today's program.